I go to some of the most dangerous places on Earth to show you what it takes to make it out alive. I've traveled the globe, facing challenges and the sort of places you wouldn't last a day without the right survival skills. Now, I'm in the Mojave Desert, one of the hottest places on Earth. This time, we're bringing the worst of the wild to me, so I can show you how to survive the most extreme environments. My team will be giving Mother Nature a helping hand to make sure conditions are as bad as they can get. I'm going to experience the brute force of a flash flood, show you that your reactions are no match for the deadly rattlesnake. See that? Wap! Like lightning! And take on a massive man-made sandstorm head-on. Just past 25,000. Copy that. I'm in the desert to put my body to the test in one of the harshest environments on the planet. First, I face a free fall from 30,000 feet, the highest jump I've ever done. Down on the desert floor, temperatures soar into the hundreds, but up here, it's mind numbingly cold. Okay, we're down to minus 33 already. It's colder than I expected. We've still got a lot of climbing to do. Okay, we're about 10 minutes to altitude. 10 minutes to altitude. The atmospheric pressure as we climb is getting so low that without any air supply, I'd be unconscious within 20 seconds. I have to breathe 100% oxygen to avoid getting nitrogen bubbles in my bloodstream, which could be fatal. Last time I was up at 30,000 feet. We got the summit of Everest. Jumping at this altitude is a technique used by special forces for covert insertions. Mimicking the flight path of commercial jets is an effective concealment and deploys troops fast without detection. It's known as high altitude, low opening, or halo. Okay, two minutes to, two minutes to jump. The temperature has plummeted to minus 40. Exit the plane without my goggles and my eyes would freeze instantly. Down on the desert floor, it's over 100. I'm about to put myself through a temperature change of 140 degrees in less than five minutes. I'm wired up so that my team can measure my body stats on my descent. Okay, let's go. In six seconds, I hit terminal velocity. It's impossible to fall any faster. Wow. And because the air is thinner at this altitude, I'm falling at just under 200 miles an hour. That's amazing. Okay, out to check. 26,000 feet at 40 fast. Halo works because of several factors. High downward velocity and minimal metal and forward airspeed, which all serve to defeat the radar. Wow, that's amazing. Making a soldier's entry virtually undetected. 6,000. Get a register to fly. Five, four and a half, and way me off, way me off, and here we go. As the chute deploys, my speed rapidly reduces to 22 miles an hour, and my body pulls five Gs. <laughs> Already now, I can feel the heat radiating from the desert floor. Okay. Okay, coming in, first and third downward leg. Then we're gonna turn into the wind, final approach. Okay, you want a nice strong flare for landing. Now we're on the ground. Good job.